guys, it's Tina. So welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making some string beans. Um, these string beans are pretty much to go with my salmon recipe that I showed you already. Um, for a link to that video, you can click right here. I'll put the uh, link right there and you can click and see what that video was. But today we're just making the side to go along with that, um, string beans. And string beans are great because they're pretty much in the beans family, which means that they are packed with um, protein as well as fiber. Now fiber is awesome because it helps you lower your cholesterol. So it's, you know, these are pretty much nutrient packed in this little tiny piece of bowl. You're getting quite a substantial amount of protein and fiber. So I already have some water boiling up and all I'm going to do, I prepped the string beans already. I just uh, chipped off the top and the bottom, you can see. And I'm just going to go ahead and throw that into the boiling water. And we're going to let that boil and sit for about three minutes or so. Okay? So, let that boil. In the meantime, I also cut up some red onions uh, and some garlic. And then we're going to be using some black pepper, some salt, sugar, and my usual balsamic vinegar. I really love this stuff. Anyway, um, so let's let our string beans boil a little bit, okay? And then we'll come right back. So you can see our um, string beans have been boiling. It's been about three minutes. All I'm going to do is take that off and drain it. So I'm just draining the hot water. Now I'm hitting up a frying pan here and all we're going to do is just put in about a tablespoon, not even, about half a tablespoon of some butter. Okay. And we're going to let that butter melt. So my butter is all melted and starting to burn. Just gonna throw in the red onions and the garlic. And as usual, the red the onions are gonna start to um, soften up. we're going to do is using our chicken broth. We're going to put in about a quarter cup of chicken broth. Okay. And then follow that through with about uh, two tablespoons of some balsamic vinegar. Actually, I think I'll make it three. I'm gonna let that simmer a little bit and start to thicken up. And you can see it starts to thicken up. Become almost like a little syrup. And what we're gonna do next is just throw in the string beans. Stir the string beans all up in there. Okay, and we're going to season with some salt and pepper. So, some salt. 
and then some black pepper. Mix it up again. And so that's it, it's all ready. I just let it cook about two to three minutes extra and it looks pretty good. Now as usual, if you like your string beans um, a little softer than you, when you boil it, you're going to boil it a longer period of time. I like my vegetables crunchy, so um, I usually never boil it too long. It still has a little crunch right now at this time, as you can tell from how plump and green it looks. But if you like it, I'm very soft and without any crunch, then initially you will boil it longer. Okay. And so that is how I make my, um, that's how I make my string beans. So hope you like that, hope you like that recipe. I am going to now plate it so you can see my complete dinner. Mm -hmm. And so that guys is my dinner some salmon, oven roasted potatoes, and my string beans. Hope you like this recipe and until next time, bon appetit!